Hey there, Brian. Hi, Joe. Hey, Bonnie making chicken marsala tonight? Oh, she made that three nights ago. Wow, that's some nose you got. Yeah, one time it almost got me a spokesman deal. Follow you. You know, we could use a nose like that down at the precinct. Really? No drugs. She's good. He's clean. Well, looks like that's it, except for the flight crew. Hey, Brian, what's with the Johnny Law routine? Say hello to our newest narc. He's a natural. Oh, yeah? How, how good are you? You're back from Manila. You had lumpia for dinner. Then you made love to two Filipino women. And a man. You mean three Filipino women? No! Wait a second. Got something. This could be the real deal, boys. Let's do it! Don't move, dirtbag! Ah, it's Coke! Yes! All right, we got him! This is great. Oh, this is the rush I've been looking for. Good work, Brian. Ah, uh, you still got a little, uh... Oh, oh, thanks. Hey, hey, Brian, if cops are pigs, does that make you a snossage? <laughs> <laughs> Clever, Peter. Did you stay up all night writing that? Nah, I got to bed around 2, 2.30. You know what Joe said the street value of that cocaine would have been? Uh, let's see, four and a half kilos uncut Nicaraguan. Uh, 1.7 mil, that area? Uh, yeah. That's... that's... that's right. You guys, Brian's famous! You're oh, a right. hero! Way to go, pal! Oh, come on, stop it, you guys. It's... it's nothing, really. <laughs> Oh, Lois, your toast is ready. Wow. Hey. Oh, my. Uh, Meg's using a new conditioner. He's right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You like That's that? That's amazing. And it's time to change Stewie. Well, that's preposterous. I haven't... Oh, there it is. <gasps> hey. All right. Stop the car. Over there. Everybody freeze. This is a bust. Oh, hey. Uh, Brian, this is a Sunday school class. The hell it is. Pure Bogota bullion. This is a drug ring. But these are just kids. Oh, yeah? What's your name? Ricky. They're not kids. They're midgets. Filthy drug-peddling midgets. Oh, my God! Look out, Brian! Nice work, rookie. You're a credit to the force. Additional generic cop compliment, Brian. Ha, <laughs> thanks. But the real hero here is God for blessing me with this nose. And a few other equally amazing appendages. <laughs> <laughs> well, I better take this cocaine down to evidence. Oh, uh, hey, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, I'll, I'll catch up with you guys at the pub. Sorry to be tardy to the party. Wow, Brian, have you lost weight? You gotta tell me your secret. Here's a hint. Put down the fork! Face! So, how was your day? My day? Unfreaking believable. First, first we nailed this bastard who had the gall to hide his stuff in his daughter's doll. Her doll, for God's sake! Oh, where's the line anymore? Well, I got news for you. It's, 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 it's not even on the radar screen. The days of decency and virtue are gone, honey. Bam! Freaking evaporated like a dingy, stinking mud puddle. One, one day you, you, you see your reflection in it, and the next day it's, it's, a, a, it's, a, it's a damn oil spot on your cracked driveway staring back at you, mocking you, blah, 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 knowing the perverted truth that rot in the pit of your soul. That's how my freaking day was. You know what I haven't had in a while? Big League Chew. Whoa, Brian, there's no smoking in the terminal. Hey, hey, there's worse things than nicotine, pal. And I'm gonna find them. Ah, patience, lad. It took dear St. Patrick more than a day to clear the Emerald Isle of snakes. Oh, can the Irish crap, will you, Horowitz? Okay. Open it! Yeah, Let me go! Help! Help! All right, where's the stash? I'll do a freaking body cavity search, I swear! Ah! Sir! Ah! 
We apologize. Griffin, there's no easy way to say this. I think you have a drug problem. A drug problem? What's this really about? Jealousy? Am I stealing your thunder, Joe? Is that it? Give me your badge. Fine. By the way, Horowitz, you should show Joe your impression of him. Wow, what a seminar. That Dr. Johan sure knows his stuff. Get over here. Ugh, gross! I, I mean, uh... <laughs> Freaking sweet, Lois. Uh, one moment while I desitin my junk in the bathroom. Stewie? Brian, where the hell are you? Lois just asked me if I want to see her kid's first apartment. What does that mean, Brian? I'm so frightened and confused. We've got much bigger problems. We hit a telephone pole, the machine activated, and it swapped everybody in town. Good God! We've got to fix this. Peter, I'm going to open the door with no hands. <laughs> Listen to me, Brian. We've got to act quickly. I'll walk you through the repairs. First, open the back panel. Okay, it's open. All right, now you've got to reverse the voltage orientation and amplify the electron flow to the motherboard. Do we just say it in English, or so help me God, I will hang up and make you screw your mom. Switch the black and yellow wires! Stewie, I see the wires, but Chris's pudgy fingers won't fit inside the panel. Crap! I do this all the time! Where's me? Hey, who installed this car seat? It's not even attached. Uh, one moment, dearest. Okay, just use his tiny hands to switch the black and yellow wires. Okay, got it. I helped. Great. Now we need to find an energy source powerful enough to match the electrical surge that swapped the town in the first place. According to my GPS, you're 20 feet from the base of the Quahog cell phone tower. Okay, I think I found it. Now I need you to strap the body swapper on your back and climb to the top of the tower. There's no time to waste. <laughs> Munch a bunch of Fritos! No! Brian, hurry! Stewie, I'm in Chris's body. I'm dragging 230 pounds of lard up a ladder. I'm 215, you liberal dickweed. Okay, I'm at the top. What now? Now, you have to get struck by lightning. How do I do that? You're an atheist. Offend God. Say something you couldn't say on TV. All right. Hey, God. Not me. You can't say that. No, 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 no. You didn't listen to a word Dr. Johan said, did you? No, I did not. I mean, <laughs> the movie Roadhouse. Whoa, whoa, easy, boy, easy. It's just Stewie in a kitty costume. I'm a calico, and my name is Humphrey. He got his face painted at a birthday party. It was the only thing this little guy could do. He was too light for the caterpillar slide, too short for the piñata, and too scared to touch the animals in the petting zoo. Half of them had erections. Half of them had erections. The pony was magnificent. The pony was magnificent. Well, what do we have here? Hey, back off! That's my goodie bag. Ugh, an eraser. Raisins in an unsealed sandwich bag. Oh, a parachute guy! Well, he's already tangled. This day started off so great. It was a wash in cake and pony boners. Now all I have is this dumb whistle. Doesn't even work. Ah, what the hell? Oh, it's a dog whistle. Ah! I've always wondered what that sounds like to you. Dog whistle! Dog whistle! Where are you, dog? Give me that. Hey! Oh, what, you want it? Here, take it. Give it back. Give me it. No, it's mine now. In fact, I'm going to put it where you can never reach it. No! Good luck, shrimp. I can't believe the nerve of that dog. Teaching me a lesson about size? I'm not even that small. Tiny Tom Cruise? Oh, hey, little guy. Forgot my sunglasses. 
Hey, what's with your gay character names lately? Stacy Jacks? Jack Reacher? I mean, who are you playing next? <laughs> All right. Try to make this sound gay. Next up, I play Headmaster Bates Man. Anything else? Actually, yes. After that, I'll be taking the role of Major Dixon Butts, then Senator Rod Clutcher. I'm too small, am I, Brian? Well, we'll just see who's the bigger man. Brian, sorry I got testy. Let's bury the hatchet. If you're free, I'd love to hear about any new writing projects you're working on. Oh, at least wait for me to send it. Hey, Stewie, I got your text. What am I working on? <laughs> what am I not working on? Well, first off, I got this screenplay for Tom Cruise about the Queen's private secretary, Sir Gaylord Hummer. Well, actually, he might do that. But, Brian, I'm more interested in short stories. Little guy. What the hell did you do to me, Stewie? Well, Brian, you seem to enjoy belittling me, so I decided to belittle you. I've simply shrunken down your molecular structure. It was easy, really. Like taking candy or a whistle from a baby. You dick! Undo this! This is perfect! I think my excitement is best expressed by Jean-Claude Van Damme in this scene. All right, you've made your point. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear that. It's too high-pitched. You're what? I'm sorry. For what? For calling you a shrimp. And? What do you mean, and? Come on, you know what I want. And all four chairs would totally turn for you on the voice. Anything else? And the way you salute and point is very casual and free of affectation. Hey, thanks, Bri. I'll go switch you back. You know, I'm really flattered you think all four voice chairs would turn around. My dream order would be Adam, Blake, Alicia Keys, and then Kelly Clarkson, whose chair I imagine would turn last, because she's, a, uh, she's a bigger gal. Help! Oh, crap! Don't worry, Brian, I'll save you! But I'm a millennial, so first I have to watch a YouTube instructional video on how to do it. What's going on, guys? I'm Corey, and today I'm going to teach you how to get your friend out of a rat hole. Now, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Corey's World. And guys, I'll get to as many comments as I can, but I can't get to all of them. And don't forget to check out my other videos, like how to play guitar. Uh, Brian, this might be a while. What's going on, guys? I'm Corey, 